Hey everybody, how are you doing? Today I wanted to do something really fun and do a haul video. Haul videos and empty videos are my two favorite videos, um, so I hope you enjoy it. Let me just jump right into it. Oh, this will be um, things I hauled from Sephora, Ulta, Rite Aid, and Walmart. So I'm going to start with Rite Aid, and I got this um, lip pencil lipstick thing from L'Oreal called Lilac and lacquerized and it's supposed to be like a lipstick plus a lip liner you don't need um, a lip liner with this and I will be doing a full review on that if you can't find it I know people have been talking about it and having trouble found it, finding it I finally found it at my Rite Aid this weekend so that's the first time I saw it I did not see it at my Target and then the other thing is still in the little Rite Aid bag, bag. La la la, now I can't talk again. This is a um, lip gloss that was limited edition Maybelline for this um, spring in Whipped Plum. This is my backup. It is my all time favorite lip gloss. Love this. So I can still find it at my Rite Aid, but I had to go ahead and buy a backup before I wasn't able to buy it. Um, let me see. Let me go ahead and do Walmart. So I bought another of the Hard Candy Mod Quad, and this one is an Under the Moon, and it is like the purple ones that I told you about. I'm actually going to return this because the pigmentation on this one is not where the pigmentation on the other two when I reviewed is, and also um, the two eyeshadows that have glitter in this are like chunky chunky glitter where the others were not so I am going to return that and I got a CoverGirl CG Smoothers um, Illuminator Concealer and I've used this a couple days and I really can tell a difference like especially like under my eyes um, I really feel like it's hiding any darkness and it's just like the lipstick tube kind of applicator I have not used a whole lot of concealers. It's kind of um, the thing I'm kind of trying to branch out into. So I've been liking that so far. And then I got a Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser. Just, it's just a regular kind of makeup remover. And I also got some of the uh, Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Wipes. I actually really do like these. And they were also in my empties video. Um, I got a few nail polishes. And these three are all Sally, Hans Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Um, I got one in No Spare Time, which is what I'm wearing now. It's really, really pretty for fall. All three of these I got, well, all four of them, but. Um, these, I just thought, these was in style still. I just thought these were like really, really pretty for, um, fall. And I love metallic nails. Chop Chop Chopper. I think this is gorgeous. The only thing is, I don't know if you can tell how far down this is, and I've only used it twice. Um, so I'm worried that either someone had spilled some out in the store, or they're just not going to last long. I'm not sure, but it is gorgeous. And then I got this um, Violet Vixen from L'Oreal. And I just thought that is just a beautiful, beautiful purple berry color for um, fall. Gorgeous! And, oh. I got a Q-Tex No Spill Pump um, fingernail polish remover. I actually saw this in a haul that um, a lady on here called a fresh tube got and basically you put your cotton ball here and you press down and so you don't ever, ever have to worry about your uh, fingernail polish remover spilling over. I have not used this yet but I'm really excited about it. And then I just bought some Swispers I believe it's called um, cotton balls. Look how big these suckers are. They're just like huge. So I'm really happy about those. I had never seen those before. I have used Swispers before um, 
the little cotton buds that I use are Swispers, but I have not seen those. So Ulta was having their 21 Days of Beauty last month, which looked like this. And I was really wanting the Cargo Vintage Escape uh, palette, but I was not able to get it. My store only got five in, and they were gone in the first five minutes. So I wasn't able to. So, of course, I was already at Ulta, and I was a little depressed, so I had to buy something. So I wound up getting a new EOS bomb. This is in Honeysuckle Honeydew, I believe it's called, and it smells really good. Oh my goodness. It smells really, really good. So that's going with my other EOS bomb collection. Um, here's just a few of them. Let's see if you can see. Yeah. And a few of them are missing because I have some in my purse. Sorry, I just hit the camera. Some in my purse and some in my bathroom. So, And then I got the Anastasia Catwalk Palette. Um, now on YouTube, I hear some people calling it Anastasia and some people calling it Anastasia. I will probably always call it Anastasia because my daughter's name is Anastasia. And we pronounce it Anastasia here. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm Southern or whatnot, but her name's Anastasia. So I call this brand Anastasia. But look at this packaging. It is so stinking cute. I love it. Because this is the inside of the box. What the inside of the box looks like. They could have just completely made that black. But no, like they seriously went um, above and beyond, I really think, with that packaging. And then here's what the palette itself looks like. And it does come with a little book like this. And it just kind of shows um, different eye looks you can do with the different shades. So that's interesting. I have to take a look at that. And then you open it. Oh, and the front of the palette has um, kind of like a raised um, animal print on it. It's really pretty. So it does come with a mirror and it comes with all of these colors and it comes with a brush. Aren't those beautiful? I just thought these were really really pretty for fall. Oh and look at the inside um, packaging where it has um, like the green and the blue with the leopard print. Just really really pretty. I am going to also be doing a full review on this one so I'm not going to swatch it right now so let me see oh we're on Sephora so my, la la, my Sephora stuff I actually ordered it online um, I only have a Sephora in JCPenney's close to me so they don't have everything um, and certain things that I wanted I could not get in my store so I had to order it online and then they sent me three samples this is YSL La Tint um, uh, what is it it's got a weightless perfection um, foundation and a sculpt and highlight so I don't know it doesn't say what color it is in but I'll just give it a try and check it out and then I got a very small small sample of Becca even matte poreless perfection primer like none in there it really feels flat um, and this is the dot from Marc Jacobs little perfume which I am interested in like smelling it because the bottle is like super super cute so I'll definitely have to give that a try I hope I didn't just like show please tell me that I didn't just show my um I'll have to check it out. I'm hoping I didn't just show my uh, address. So anyway, this is Smashbox Lipstick in Vivid Violet. This is my first Smashbox purchase. I actually, actually think that I do, I take that back, I do have one eyeshadow a green eyeshadow but I didn't purchase it I actually got it in a swap so this is my first Smashbox purchase and it looks like this 
Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Let me see if it smells. I don't smell anything. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to swatch it. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I haven't even tried... I haven't even swatched these, so y'all are getting my first little swatchy swatchy. Oops. And that's what it looks like. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Look at that purple for fall, people. And then... This is Buxom and Swinger. This... Um, the Buxom and the Smashbox, I actually had in my, um, like, favorites on Sephora for a long time, but then, um, Melissa from, I have it written down, from M-E-L-M-P-H-S got these same ones, and I saw them, and I had to, I was like, okay, they're going in my shopping cart and I'm getting them now. Oh my goodness, this packaging is so cute. This is my first Buxom product. I have nothing from them, but I love the packaging. And this is in Swinger, and it looks like that. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. So this is a lighter, kind of pinkier or purple. Oh wow, it's so pretty. And let me smell it. Let me see if this has a smell. That has like a light vanilla smell. It's not as vanilla-y as the um, MAC lipstick, but it has a little light vanilla smell. Oh my goodness, that one's gorgeous too. Wow. So this right here, let me see, get my hand back in the frame. This one right here is the, this one right here is the Buxom, and then the darker one on top right here is the Smashbox. So one last lip product. And it is the Bite Beauty Pastel Violet Lipstick. And it is gorgeous. I saw um, Laura from Mrs. Lola Lynn um, showing this. And I had to. And this is what the packaging looks like. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. And it looks like that. Look how pretty. This is supposed to be, um, this has, um, a little bit of a smell. Kind of like, just like a lipstick smell, if that makes any sense. Just kind of what, um, if you've ever smelled lipstick that doesn't really have a smell, but it has a lipstick smell. I, I know that makes no sense, but it has a smell, but it's not overpowering or anything. Wow, that is gorgeous. Um, so this is the Bite Beauty. On camera, to me, it's looking really the same as the Buxom, but in real life, it is darker um, than the Buxom. But anyway, so I saw um, her showing that on a haul, and I was just like, oh, I've got to get it. And luckily, it hasn't been sold out. So let me see if I can... And this is the Sephora Outrageous... Prisma Chrome in Outrageous Metallic Taupe. Um, I've seen everybody talking about this. Um, I've seen a lot of people talking about this, so I can't really name like one person. But they are on sale for $7. Oh my goodness, it has like a quilted pattern. Can you see that? Oh, it's gorgeous. And I've just heard really good things. I really did want the purple too. But I was not, the purple was sold out. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to use that. That is really pigmented. And then one last thing is my first Illamasqua purchase. So I'm really, really excited about that. And it is the, bl uh, it is the blush and the rest. I just thought this color would be really, really pretty um, for fall. Packaging's cute. So let's see. Oh good, now I can't get it open. Is there like a secret to getting Illamasqua stuff open? Oh well, it opened. Okay, and it looks like that. So it's kind of like a dark and, or dark berry. Oh wow, that's really pretty. 
So I'm kind of putting a heavy swatch. I would, of course, blend out. But isn't that beautiful? That would look really pretty with all those um, purple lipsticks. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Alrighty, that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.